spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A Marie. And today, as you could tell by the thumbnail and title, we're doing another first impressions not more so of newer products but newer products to my collection we will be using some color pop some drugstore high end low end all the good stuff okay so hopefully you guys are here for this tutorial hopefully you will enjoy Let's go ahead and jump off into this video, but before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Turn your post notification to all. You need to set it to that. You don't want to miss any more of my uploads. Go ahead and comment down below while you're commenting. Also, put in the comments hashtag notification on point so that you'll be featured in one of my upcoming videos. Everything that I will be using in today's video will be linked down below with a direct link. If there's any coupon codes, I will hit you with the coupon codes with it. And all the brushes that I use in today's video will be called out instead of being linked down below because the description box gets really Cool. let's jump into this video all right you guys we're back at it again yes we have a lot of new products to try out we're just gonna go with the flow baby we're gonna go with the flow yes a lot of these products are with ColourPop I'm not affiliated with ColourPop at all so I'm gonna start off by putting this apple and balmy lip glow mask on my lips you guys know i have been like really really enjoying this i've been using it in almost all my videos so i am going to start off with the mark jacobs youth quake and this is a gel moisturizer and moisturize the face because if i'm not mistaken majority of these products are um mattifying y'all know i'm a mattifying girl all right so while we wait for this to soak in you guys let me update you on some things to be looking for the new year is going to be completely different here on my channel and i'm not saying completely different as in i'm leaving or anything like that but things will change for the new year um so be on the lookout for the changes and let me know down below in the comments if it's something you would like me to bring to my channel in real time today i have decided to close a and b lavish there will be a sit down video for discussing the reasoning but i just want to let you guys know it's happening i did forget that i put this in the box and this is the jua essential lip enhancer that i got in a boxy charm a lot of the products that we will be trying today will be boxy charm items too right along with the color pop so i'm gonna wipe the balmy off and i'm gonna try this my lips are very very dry so let's try this and see what we think about it with it being a lip balm, I could see myself using this from time to time. I don't know why. All right, so we're going to try out the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I did get this in Zeep Fawn. And we're going to test it out because we have yet to try it. We hauled it a while ago. And I think it was like my biggest drugstore haul video that I had here on my channel. We're going to try it out and we're going to use the Carity E32 brush just to carve out our brows. And we will be using this later on in the video to conceal. Oh, I like that the doe foot goes at like this angle. It has like a little bend to it. looks promising oh my god you guys i don't have contacts in and you guys know i can't see 
I never really knew how bad my eyesight was until my eyes really got adjusted to my glasses. So now that I literally take my glasses off, everything is blurry. Now, you guys know when I do these first impressions and things, I don't, I don't have like a set look. So we're just gonna wing it like always and see how it goes. I just wanna test out these new products with you guys. I do wanna use these, this brush set, set by Luxie. I got it in a boxy charm and it is some um, like eye brush set, it's the five piece. So we will be using these in today's video. We are going to test out the no pore filler primer base from nyx and i don't know why i'm doing it because i need to be going to the eyes so the ColourPop palette is called make it black it's a press it's a pressed powder palette you guys at the time that i purchased this ColourPop was given all proceeds to but they were given back to something and i bought just to help give back so this palette is called make it fearless and here are the colors but this is what i mean by maybe a one eyeshadow look or just a simple look because i really want to kind of like i wanted to use all of these colors but these two are no this one is a press pigment this one and this one is a glitter and then the only matte is this one. this new Physicians Formula Natural Finishing Powder that we're going to test out anyway later. This one is in medium deep. I'm going to, ouch, I'm going to use it and kind of like give myself some type of base on the eyelid. Just give it some kind of color. Lord Jesus, why I won't come out? But like I said, we're going to use it later as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit. Okay, she doesn't have a smell. Is it this Physician? physician's formula or another company that like normally smells i want to say it was this one so i am going to take this luxie brush and this is the 205 tapered blending brush i'm gonna go ahead and test this out and i want to kind of place color all over the lid just so i don't like this brush <laughs> I don't like this brush already but we're gonna just put some color on our eye so that it just won't be a stark dark color you know what I mean because we are gonna use say yes as our like as like our main color this one here is a 237 blending brush they're just so flat what are we doing here like look how flat it is so i kind of want to use it to use say yes out of the color pop palette and i don't know how deep i don't know how deep this color is going to come off but okay it's kind of deep but this little brush is not going to do it so let me get my trusty dusty BH Cosmetics number 12 brush. Y'all know I've been riding for this brush for years and it won't change. It will not change at all. And if you kind of tilt your head back like me, you could kind of see where you're going with it and where to keep it i am gonna go back in with my press powder just to blend it out some more all right so let's take this next brush which is the luxie 209 large shader brush and we're gonna go right into bold i don't know if i should use my fingers spray it or just see what we have i think we're just gonna see what we have with it and we're just gonna place it all over the eye oh 
y'all oh my goodness oh yes beautiful and this is without wetting a brush or anything oh that's pretty ColourPop always have the best formula like they never miss ColourPop always understands the assignment, like, so seriously. So, I do now want to take this one, which is Oasis, and kind of pop it in my inner corner. So, I am going to take my crown pencil brush and kind of place it right there. And I am going to go over it again once we do the concealer and all that. Because, of course, sometimes the concealer kind of kicks and take away. But I want to put it right there. And I want to kind of move on to the face so we can pull all of this together. So let's go back in with this NYX Pore Filler uh, Base Primer. Now, I haven't tried this. I haven't heard nobody try about it uh, talk about it but the packaging I did get the smaller size which is almost like a travel size it feels hella empty I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like it feels really empty so I don't know I don't know how much is this why is this doing that I know y'all seen that right it really feels like I just rubbed air on my face. I'm not going to lie to you. And like some feel like feel smooth off my face. So I don't know about that. Oh, if I forgot to tell you guys, the reason why I'm calling out the brushes to you guys is because I won't be list linking the brushes down below. But if if you guys are interested in the brushes that i use that's the reason why i call them out when i do these videos it i have to take a lot of time out of my day to link every single product with a link and a coupon code if there's one and my description box is already full of information that you guys should already know but may not know you may be new or whatever the case may be so add in the products that I use as well as the products, links and all that, the brushes take up a lot, a lot of space. So that's why I call them out. So this product is not new. This is the Collab Matte Foundation and Collab is found at Sally Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Mocha. I just haven't used it in a long time. And I kind of want to use it again and make my decision on if I want to keep it or not. A lot of my foundations, if you guys have been keeping up with my um, declutter series, I've been trying to use some things just so that I can make a determine a decision on if I want to keep it or not. So collab mocha is one and I know this pulls more dark on me. But if I'm not mistaken, I think I had balanced it out. So don't be alarmed. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Let's move on and test out the Flower Beauty Concealer as my highlighter. I wonder how full coverage. We're going to let it sit um, underneath the eyes a little bit just so that we could get the most coverage out of it but when it comes to like the lip and the chin I don't need it I don't need like that full coverage right there because it's just that but it blended out like a dream I'm loving the way it looks on the forehead I really am it blended out really good so I'm going to go ahead and start blending because I don't know how long I can let it sit.
it's blending out good and I think the full coverage claim is like a medium to full coverage but it's not bad it's not bad I'm just used to more boom bam like tart shape tape but for drugstore mm -hmm, I like it and it's a good shade so I don't have a new setting powder so I'm just going to use my ABH deep peach to set the concealer and I did wet the sponge but with this velvety sponge I don't know if this is Juno and Co or wet and wild but they kind of dry down fast which is not a problem with me but it doesn't seem wet anymore um let's see yeah, let's go here first and yes I pick up some and then I just start like kind of dabbing it out and then go in let's go back to the eyes and let's kind of like place it back right there so let's try this Anastasia double ended brush and I'm gonna go in with the this one and it looks really bright in person but on camera y'all are not it's so pale and that's not what it is it's a burnt orange so i want to kind of like place it right in there but just for the sake of the video of trying to use all the colors that's what i'm doing i'm gonna dust it off and now i'm gonna go in with high key and then just like catch the end this is a cream gel liner. This is a lippy. And then this is a lippy. So we have two lippy sticks and a gel liner. So let's see what the gel liner is. You guys, I bought this a long time ago. And I honestly don't remember what's in it. This is a ColourPop cream eyeliner. Oh, it's like rosette. So let's see. Yeah. It's like a shimmer shade. So let's just try it. Right, oh, this is creamy AF. I like that. I would have preferred to put a black on, but it's creamy and pop pen. All right, so no, I don't see any liquid liner, so we're just gonna move right on into the Tarte C Surfer Curl Mascara. This is a sample. I, I'm not sure where I got it from, but we're going to try it out. I know I haven't set my face yet or did anything else, but you guys, we're going to work with it. Oh, girl, this look like it dried out. Let's just pull out a regular mascara that we already have in our drawer, which will be the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Okay, but since Bruh. we're already on the face, let's go ahead and set our face with our um l'oreal infallible foundation powder in copper i have already tested this on my channel i used it in the first impressions and because i like it i'm going to go ahead and make this my choice today did i really just do that we we're supposed to use the physician's formula I'm going to have to use this again in another video. Oh my God. Were y'all just screaming at me? Like, were y'all just screaming at me? Like, girl, what am I doing? Please forgive me. But I did use the AOA foundation brush, which the foundation powder brush, which is the F12. Y'all know these are only a dollar on AOA website i'm sorry on shop miss a website let me look at everything else i did forget to use the liquid highlighter before i put on everything else so we will be using that in the next video but i see we didn't use um liner because we're going to be testing this one out which is the the kiss lash glue liner this one is in clear and the style lashes is in cherry 
cherish. Um, I'm going to use my Oldie But Goodie, the CoverGirl bronzer. I'm going to use my Morphe E3 brush. Love this brush. I'm just going to bronze up my skin. Nothing dramatic. Just bronze it up. Give myself a little color. How about my Elegantly Me Cosmetics in the shade Touch of Spice? You guys need to go and purchase it because I still use it. And they gave me my own collection, which Touch of Spice is the blush of choice. I don't know if they still have it. I can ask and then link it down below. But if they don't, still go shop with this small business because it's good. And I love Touch of Spice. I love this color. Can I go in with just a touch of Sephora bronzer in Ibiza? Number six, Ibiza. I think that's the name. I like this bronzer too. It's a matte bronzer, but you just need just a touch. Like, just a touch. We're going to go ahead and try this now that we bronzed and everything. We're going to try the lashes in this lash glue. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. But we're going to try it. It doesn't look like I need to cut the lashes at all, so I'm just gonna go straight in. I know you've been, everybody's been talking about it. I do have my own lash glue pen. Um, she's on sale right now because I won't be coming back out with her. I think I want a different design, or I'm just gonna stick with the strip glue like I have. Um, so we're gonna test this out. Boom, boom. It says it's a liquid liner, but it's clear. So these are those two in ones. But of course, with clear, you don't make it a liner. You know what I'm saying? You don't wing out. So I'm getting as close as possible to my lash line. And I am going to use my tweezers, A and B Lavish, L-Shape Rose Gold Tweezers. I love the L-Shape. These are on sale as well, these tweezers, because I will be coming out with different ones. But 9 times out of 10, it will still be L-Shape. Did y'all see how easy that went on? Wow. Can't lie, that was easy AF. Girl. It's gonna be my little new, my new go-to. Like, for real, for real. And I can use this with any lashes. Girl. Okay, this look kind of came together. All right, and y'all see that the Jouer lip mask is still hanging in there. Y'all can see it. Y'all see her. We're going to go in with something that's not new, which is my Nabla Skin Glaze. This one is in Lucent Jungle. I love this highlighter. And I really need to throw the packaging away finally. But I love this highlighter. We are going to take the AOA F19 brush. And we're going to just go ahead and. Take Lucent Jungle for a ride. So for the last step is these lippies. Now, I do have Pitch and Like Magic. Let's see what they're about. Here is Pitch. Oh, she's dark. All right, let's swatch her. I hate when that happens. Things are so creamy, they break off. But there's Pitch. And I don't even think you need a lip liner with these, honey. There are a whole part of the pencil just like hit the floor. All right, and then like magic. Let's see. Oh, she's a little lighter. Okay, so let's swatch her. Like magic is right here. So I think we're really just gonna blend the two, honestly. Cause look at the, 
look at the combination we came up with today. So that is all the products. Now I need to like spray my face because I don't have any new products Oops. to spray down. But I'm going to go and spray my face, go off camera, do this review for this hair, and I'll be 